right, so this is the, uh, the starter pack, the official starter pack. This comes with some quite cool stuff. So we've got 20 cards inside. We've got a limited edition Fernando Alonso card guaranteed, which is uh, pretty cool. I think Fernando will be happy with that. We've got the card binder itself, game rules, a game map. Uh, and now I'm going to open it and kind of see what cards I've got and get involved. So let's open that up. Here we go. So 20 cards, Fernando Alonso limited edition at the front. Then we've got this, which is the front sort of cover of the, the binder, which we've got here. Um, and then on the back, we've got all the different card types, all the different cards, uh, the teams, the drivers, everything like that. So you know what, what to kind of expect and what cards to collect. The binder itself, which you store it all in. Then here, we've got the game guide. Um, so this is basically a, a rundown of everything that you're going to have included in here. All the cards, the strategy, how it all works, um, any limited edition cards, the rookie cards, how to play. So it's going to give you a guide on kind of the fundamentals of how this is going to work so you, can, you and your mates can enjoy it uh, and play between you. And, uh, and then finally we've got the game mat. So this is again a big sort of laid out version of how you and your friends will set this up and play each other away from just collecting the cards themselves. And uh, yeah, so that's the fundamentals of what you get in here. And this right here is the, the back cover. So this is what you're going to put in the back of your binder. Uh, and that kind of again just has another list of cards and stuff to expect to find within uh, the tops attack and uh, or the turbo attack, sorry. Um, pack cards. This is the, the bit that we all love to get involved with and open in these packs. It's uh, addictive. So Fernando Alonso on the front. Let's get this open. Hopefully we can get some big names in behind him and I uh, can start the uh, turbo attacks in the, the right fashion. Cool. So Fernando Alonso in gold on the front. That's always a nice one to have. What else have we got in here? We've got a Williams racing, Nicholas Latifi. Okay, that's a good start. He's had a couple of years under his belt. Right, next card up, I see a Ferrari badge on the back. You know, that's gonna be a pretty good one. Whoa, here we go. Uh, Supreme skill, uh, Carlos Sainz, so 100 attack. So Carlos has got 100 acceleration in this one because that's his skill that's been boosted. That's a, a pretty good stat to have, and uh, the car design looks really cool as well. Gold as a racing driver is always what you want to see, so uh, not silver or bronze, so I like that. Uh, now we've got Alpine on the back. Another Fernando Alonso, race superstar. Um, so this is a different variation of the limited edition Fernando you saw at the front. 94 defense, 83 attack. Um, so yeah, Fernando there, that's another solid card, and one that I'm sure is going to win a few battles against your mates. Now this one just says, I oh know we've got Alfa Romeo, Alfa Romeo, I'm trying to make out the signs on the back. Oh hello, race superstar Kimi Raikkonen. Um, that one's got a nice shine to it, although Kimi's straight faced as ever. Uh, 84 defence, 80 attack, and again another good all round card. Uh, we'll go from this end and we've got another Kimi Raikkonen. This is a, probably a, a more tamer version, so the stats are a little bit lower. This is a quality qualifier. Um, so 85 acceleration, so still a good stat, um, but yeah, not quite the, the level of this other Kimi Raikkonen and Ray Superstar card. Now our first team principal in these, Mattia Bonosso. So again, plus three defense, plus three attack across the board. So same as uh, Christian Horner that I had a little look at earlier. So that's a pretty good card for, for Mattia and uh, one that you can apply onto the drivers to boost their stats up and hopefully uh, make the difference in terms of winning. Okay, now Yuki Tsunoda, so F1 racer, 72 attack, 60 defense, so he's a rookie, he's never going to have the best of the best stats uh, in this game, but I'm sure he has a couple of seasons under his belt and starts getting a few podiums and maybe fighting for the odd victory, that should boost him up. So a pretty good all-round card, again, it's a pretty tame version of Yuki, I'm sure there'll be some other versions of him which will uh, boost those stats up even higher. Esteban Ocon for Alpine. Uh, quality qualifier, so again, this is a, 
a, a pretty low-end version compared to all the, the gold glitzy cards that you have on offer to get. 79 attack, 71, 71 defense, so a not bad card. S-Band's been in F1 for a few years now, so uh, in terms of a, a pretty middle-of-the-range safe card, um, this is, I think, you're going to be your guy. He looks uh, pretty good all round, so that would be one to watch out for. Now we're into F2, so the, the stars of the future. Guan Yu Zhao, um, so 59 defense, 69 attack, F2 racer card. Uh, it's good to see the F2 guys getting included in the, the, the turbo attacks um, rather than just the F1, because these guys are the, the stars of the future. These are the guys that are going to be your next Lando Norris's, George Russell's coming up into the sport. Um, he's actually leading the championship in F2 this year, so he started the year strong. He could be in F1 next year. Again, another one to, to watch out for. Now we've got the Schumacher name. Uh, it's not Michael, it's uh, his son Mick, who's made the step up to F1 this year. So Mick Schumacher, F1 racer. So he was F2 last year, now an F1. 61 attack, 74 defence. Uh, I was saying earlier, I think Mick Schumacher, he's never been one in the lower categories to be on pole position every single race. So that's probably why his attack stats are a little bit lower. But when it comes to defence, using his brain and kind of being good in the race, that's what Mick sort of used as his skill set to get him into Formula 1 and win races and uh, this is a, a guy to watch out for because I think he's going to be in the sport for a long time. Okay, we've got a bit of a different looking card here. Oh, I think that must be just a, a picture card. Put that there. George Russell, uh, an ex-teammate of mine back in go-karts, F1 racer. Uh, he's been in F1 with Williams for a couple of years now and uh, He's also did that one-off race for Mercedes back at the Sakir Grand Prix where he was on course to, to win that race and had a puncture. So George is definitely a star of the future. One Formula 2, he's the, the king of Saturdays. He's always up there on a Saturday. Um, and uh, his attacking stats prove that. So again, one to watch out for. And uh, I've got a feeling he'll be in a, a slightly quicker car pretty soon. Now, a bit more of an established driver here. We've got Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, this is an F1 speedster card. So he's got 90 attack. So 82 defense, 90 attack. Daniel Ricciardo, for me, he's one of the most attacking drivers on the grid. Um, when I think of Danny Rick, I think of late breaking overtakes. And uh, when it comes to the turbo attacks, if you want a guy to be in your corner and get the job done, and when it comes to attacking, I think Daniel's going to be one that you're going to want. Um, and it's a pretty cool car design with both him and his car on the front. Another picture card. Right, we've got a live action card here. So this is the first one of these we've seen. Kimi Raikkonen again, live action. Uh, 79 defense, 71 attack. Pretty good all round stats. He's got 90 experience on this because Kimi Raikkonen has been around for years. He's got so many Grand Prix under his belt. How long he'll stay in the sport for, I think, to be honest, it's coming to the end of his time in Formula 1. I think he'll potentially walk away in a few years, so these cards are going to be even more collectible when uh, someone like Kimi Raikkonen is no longer around, because, uh, yeah, like I say, he's been in the sport for over 20 years now. I think it's uh, a crazy amount of time. OK, we have got an action card now. There we go, with a with Ferrari of Charles Leclerc, or the back end of his car on the card as well. Another team principal, Otmar, oh, Otmar, who's a team principal of Aston Martin Racing. Um, again, plus three across the board. These team principal cards, they're just there to, to help boost the driver stats up uh, so you can win those battles. And uh, Otmar, again, is doing a great job with Aston Martin, formerly known as Racing Point and Force India. So he's been around in Formula One. He's got lots of experience and, uh, yeah, a pretty established guy in the paddock. Okay, another F2 card. We've got an MP card. Um, so you can see the two drivers for MP, Richard Vashaw, Lorim Zendeli, um, who are competing in F2 this year. And then on the back, it's got sort of the, where the headquarters are, the team principal of MP, the drivers, um, the most points in one event. It's got basically an encyclopedia of knowledge on this one little card about so if you guys at home can all improve your knowledge on F2, because obviously, again, like I said, these guys are stars of the future. 
podium finishes, best race result. So that is a, a really good card to build your knowledge on, uh, especially the, the Formula 2 guys. And finally, we've got Prema. So we've got Robert Schwartzman, who is an ex-teammate of mine in go-karting, and Oscar Pia uh, Piastri, who I raced in Formula 4. Um, when I had my accident, I was actually competing against him, so he's a guy I know pretty well. Um, then again, on the back, headquarters, team principal, drivers, um, best result, podium finishes. So anything you want to know about last season's racing, how all these teams got on, these cards are great for that. It will give you all the knowledge and uh, hopefully off the, after looking at all these, stuff, uh, the, all these stats, you'll be able to kind of go and watch F2 this year and kind of get a better understanding, have some idea of what's going on before you start watching. Cool, so now we've opened the starter pack. Time to put the, the cards in the binders. The cards conveniently have got little numbers in the corner which tell you whereabouts in the, the binder they should go. So it makes it easier to organise everything. So let's get stuck in. So Fernando Alonso, Gold Limited Edition card. 